New at 530 now, learning without limits. A Virginia Beach school is celebrating the grand opening of a very special place here. It's tailor-made for students with special needs. Yeah, I was there today for all of this, all those big smiles. And uh, as administration cut the ribbon and opened up the new bodies in motion, Pembroke Learning Park, that's what it's called, to their students. Now, it was very clear the reaction the adults immediately received was worth every penny that they spent. Beyond the borders of these hallways filled with devices for children's special needs now lies a magical place. Woo, that was good. What looks like play is really their learning. One, two, three, go! <laughs> this is the new Bodies in Motion, Pembroke Learning Park. <laughs> safely tucked in the confines of the school's courtyard. I mean, you can see that they're loving it. It's just a great experience for them. Every piece of equipment has a purpose. You roll the wheelchair up into the swing and that child gets the same sensation as general ed students would in a regular swing. Whether they're uh, blind or deaf, um, they can feel the vibrations of the musical instruments. We've got our OT, occupational therapist, our physical therapist using this as part of their goals. And those who helped the school reach its goal of creating this came back to see the final product today. So it's an honor to be here today. And this is very special, uh, seeing the children out here today. <laughs> it's a $500,000 project that parents like Lee Woodard couldn't be more appreciative of. The parents and our fundraisers weren't really going to raise enough money for this. On this playground, her son, who can't walk or talk on his own, can do what any other fifth grader wants to do. I mean, they're just children like anybody else. They just want to play and have fun and laugh and have little chaos, and all that's what a playground is about. <laughs> if happiness had a sound and joy had a face, you'd find them both right here. I fought back tears all day. Anyway, the principal at Pembroke Elementary said they searched all over the country for a park that they could actually model this after and didn't find one that was on this scale.